You're watching news tonight. Let's turn to some other top stories this evening as the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources has presented 18 containers of confiscated rosewood to the National Cathedral Secretariat for the execution of the $200, that's a million dollar project. The over 20 cubic meter containers were handed over to the Board of Trustees of the National Cathedral Friday at the Forestry Commission's depot in Accra to aid the construction of the edifice. A high-level collaboration and intelligence gathering between the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources and other mandated state agencies led to the impounding of 18 containers at the Overseas Commerce Ghana Limited Terminal at the Tema Port on August 24, 2021. After some deliberations, the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources decided to donate the confiscated rosewood to the board of the National Cathedral. Speaking at a brief ceremony, Deputy Minister in Charge of Forestry, Benito Usubio, indicated that the act of donation is proof of the transparency in the management of natural resources by the Akufado-led government and fulfillment of his promise to preserve and manage natural resources with a high sense of integrity. The deputy minister in an exclusive interview with GH1 News assured it will go on to work to ensure the cartel and syndicate behind the harvesting and exportation of rose wools are dealt with to protect the environment. This is good because what it is is that they cannot profit from it even when it's confiscated. Initially, we had no other option than to auction them. Every uh, rose would have to be confiscated will be preserved for them until when they will come to us and tell us that they've had enough. So as we go on, everything that we confiscate will be preserved for them. A member of the Board of Trustees of the National Cathedral, Reverend Dr. Joyce Ayi, also expressed joy over the gesture, saying rosewood is seen as one of the most expensive wood in the world, and so it is good that it will be used in the construction of the house of God. She called on Ghanaians to donate generously, as the president suggested a minimum of 100 Ghana cities a month towards the building of the National Cathedral. Rosewood is seen as one of the most expensive kinds of wood in the world and so it is good that we are going to use this in the house of God who actually is the giver of the wood giving to God is not a waste of money doing something to glorify God is not a waste of money so let's all arise and build this cathedral together. Meanwhile, Deputy Minister of Finance John Kuma, who represented Ken Oforiata, expressed his profound gratitude to the Lands Ministry and the Forestry Commission for the offer towards the construction of the edifice. He said this means the ministry will no longer have to cough up funds to purchase wood for the project. Another story.